Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday on this July 7th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good morning, everybody. Grant, Tom, good to see you. Phil, Joe, look at all these beautiful names. Eric, Harold, Mark, there you go. All Cyber Traders, good morning, everybody. So let's get right into it and talk a little bit about what's happening with some of the positions. First of all, um, hopefully a lot of you new members here have been enjoying yourself and seeing what we've been doing so far and uh, see how important it is to trade in pre-market and how things trade during the market. Um, you know, listen, we're in the big thick of the uh, the summer months and, uh, you know, summer start on the 4th of July, where I always say, you know, especially the weather, it was really cold spring actually, a lot of rain, stuff like that. But overall, um, you can see there's not that many stocks that are moving, which is great because this is a time when you need to learn because the best time to trade and you want, and it takes a good month or two just for the light bulb to kick in. Comes around September, October, November, and a little bit of December for uh, the Christmas holidays. But um, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. And you know, once again, we got the same mover that we traded yesterday. That the MTSL that's moving again this morning. Want to check it out? But in the meantime, uh, I've been watching some of the comments that have been coming across, and I just want to kind of address certain things uh, because a lot of people here don't understand how us traders work. And, uh, you know, and we don't try to get too political here. You know, we're, we're basically political neutral here. Um, you know, we don't want to offend anybody, but we don't want to excite anybody on the other end. But just got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you're new to trading, uh, unfortunately, catastrophes make for great opportunities for traders. It happened with 9-11. Um, politics uh, obviously affect uh, the stock market movement. And, you know, obviously what's going on with NATO and all the all NATO's members meeting, you know, we could see something big changes in the market, you know. And like I said this morning, you know, what's going on. I mean, they're really that much, not that many stocks, but all the ETFs are moving. All the ETFs are moving this morning. And some of you guys did capitalize it. So, you know, just remember when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, keep your political beliefs on the side and monetize it you know in the trading community because you know there I can, I can tell you a list of things that made me a lot of money and if you hate obama or loved obama you know made a lot of money when he was in office if you hate trump and love trump i made a lot of money with trump um don't remember bush when i was trading back then a little bit yeah actually I didn't think I made that much money when Bush started. It was a little bit, nothing, nothing much. But, um, but regardless what their policies are, they do swing certain stocks to move certain directions. And that's the whole idea about uh, making money when it comes to trading. So just always remember that. You see something, say something, and try to monetize in the market. Because at the end of the day, we only care what's in our pocket. And that's and the way we do that is in trading. So always remember that. Very, very important. Um, it's a big, big driver. Now, a couple of stocks that... Uh, Lincoln did great for you too, Ken. Yeah, that was profound. That well, you mean the the penny or the president? <laughs> because I like those pennies and those stocks work pretty good on that Lincoln. All right, guys. So uh, what's moving on in the morning? Uh, a couple of stocks are making some big moves. You can see here on the big percentage gainers. Uh, you got the MS uh, MTSL. That was one of the big winners that we had yesterday. Stock went from a buck fifty to eleven o'clock. Ran away three dollars. Really, really nice move right there. And she gapped up. She made another afternoon move. I don't know where that came from, but boom, it just took off from two all the way back to 350. So if you did your journals correctly, if you did your journals correctly, the daily journals, what we train you what to do, go back, review how you traded MST, uh, MTSL, know what level it was at. Did you make money? Did you lose money? Did you get shaken out? You know, whatever it is. But it was a pretty volatile stock, I can tell you that. It was no level one stock. So don't let this... Uh, this dollar uh, fifty stock that which is now trading at four four sixteen four twenty five fool you. Another one that is moving pretty nicely too this morning. You know, a lot of volume too, uh, big volume on the A C H V. A uh, lot of big buyers here on, on on the matrix. Which by the way, I'm doing a big big uh, presentation on Trade Station tomorrow. So look forward to seeing you guys here at four thirty Eastern time. I'm going to talk a lot about the matrix. But uh, I'm going to teach you how to kind of use the matrix um, on the trade station at, at trade station on that webinar. But a lot of buyers on this stock. It's got some big support levels. I saw big resistances just right around 550. And you could see it on the long term chart. But um, but if it does fill in that gap, the stock you know looks like it's breaking higher highs. So I kind of like this one going a little bit better into the open than the 
M T S L. Now everything else you could see here, you know, there's a lot of it is junk. Everything is more ETFs. Look at this, the UVXY. You know, look at the volume that thing is trading over 1.4 million shares. This stock, you know, we know it's very, very volatile. This thing went from nine to 30, and you know, this thing can move if it really, really wants to. Uh, big volatility. I tell everybody this to trade any one of these ETFs. If, if you're not one of my $500 a day day traders, do not trade. And these things are very, very volatile. They move very quickly, but they are going to make the watch list. You know, these are, um, these are, uh, are, and the only reason why I see, and you know, I'm not a fan of trading ETFs. I don't like trading ETFs. Too much volume, very hard to see the high frequency trades, you know, uh, see the big iceberg orders, all that stuff. But for some of us, if there's nothing left to trade and you're having something that's going on right now in NATO and it's going to cause a lot of chaos, then these are basically where you're at, okay? This is what you want to, want to look at. So anyway, that, there was this one that was moving pretty nicely. The v, there are a couple of slow ones. I'm not going to say, you know, some of them you could probably trade, but the, the VAX, that one also, you can see it's hitting testing big resistance levels here at 3350. You know, you really can't follow the matrix that much because there's orders everywhere. That one's moving pretty well. UVXY, it's another one. Um, I think this one's a little bit more controllable for some of us, but that one's moving pretty nicely. You know, actually, that's the one I just told you earlier. That one's moving nice. What was the other one I missed? Um, is there another one that I, I had? I think that was pretty. They're, they're all on this list. You could see it. They're all there. I mean, these are the VIXY. And then, obviously, there's always the reverse ones that, that reverse those, and those are on the losers. But you could see not a really lot going on. Even on the losers, you know, they, you really can't go by those down 30%, no volume. You know, he's one stock. 300,000 shares down 10%, you know, probably getting, it's going to look, this one looks like a probably is going to test the support levels around six bucks. It's not an ETF. It's not a uh, pharmaceutical. So we know it can bounce. I'll throw that one on a watch list. Really not a lot out there, guys. Really not a lot. Uh, all right. So uh, Lee is saying lots of pops and drops, no overnights. <laughs> well, but what I can see, it looks like, you know, we got slim pickings, you know, and a lot has to do about being at this time of the year, you know, during the summertime. All right, guys, anything I'm missing uh, that I did not call out that you want me to check out? The swings, I still holding on my swings. I still feel comfortable with our swing trade, so I'm not really getting out of those. Um, kind of more or less being flat where they are right now. Uh, not really doing anything great on those, but the day trading... Just listen, the, the, the tip of the day for all of us is um, remember, don't try to hit home runs. Take the money and run. If the thing takes off, no big deal. Because everyone that takes off, you could lose 10 times, you know, on the ones that, you know, that you should have took the money and it didn't run. So always focus on that. All right, just a couple of stocks. Uh, the AR, the ARQL for Mark. You know, the stock is pushing down. It's down 7%. Looks like, I don't know if it's on your short list, but it looks like it's breaking lower lows. Stock had a nice little run. You know, it looks like it's backing off. So that one does, that, that looks okay. I mean, it's uh, not crazy about it, but it's okay if, if it's on your short list. BOSC. Um, decent volume, up 7%. I saw this earlier. You know, you got some iceberg orders right there. You can see 3,500 and 1,600, but it's kind of on the downtrend, so that's why I didn't really throw it on my list. Yeah, I mean, the the um, HUYA, you know, Steve, on the shorts, these all get, listen, I got out of all of them. Um, these all gonna be taking hits. This one, the IQ, like I said, there's like this big event that you're going, to get, uh, going after China, so, um, a lot of these stocks, I would I would stay far far away from them, but they've been great shorts. But also, with that said, you got to be a very you know professional cyber group trader to trade these. Remember, they move pretty quickly. But if, yeah, this has been a great short. All right, but a really nice short on that one. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna throw that right back down at H U Y A short. All right, guys. So. Um, all looks good. Let's get ready. We'll get ready to rock and roll. Remember, tomorrow we got the trade station. We got open house uh, for all the YouTube videos. Want to come and join us? Just feel free to contact us or just like us on YouTube. And uh, in the meantime, uh, let's see how we can you know 
get through this weekend. And oh, don't forget one last thing. Today is 7-Eleven day, so everybody gets a free Slurpee. So <laughs> go out there and uh, if you get if you're a little hot where you are, you know, go enjoy yourself. All right. Don't forget Slurpee day today. <laughs> all right. Just be a reminder, everyone. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.